like Maria, that. tell us about this great fall centerpiece. Oh, right, so now I, okay, now we're getting to the point where we're eating all of the fall food yep. and gathering around the table, so we really want to have a beautiful centerpiece, and that's what I've created for you today. So you this have. is sort of a deconstructed centerpiece, if you will. Instead of having a box, maybe, you know, that you normally see yeah. full of flowers or things okay. like that, this is deconstructed, and one of my favorite ways to decorate is with food, and the foods of the season right now, squash, squash of all kinds. So we have the acorn squash down here that I've turned into candles. Yeah. So you have your mood lighting too, if you, you will, that? which is so great when you're uh, sitting at the table. And I oh, interwoven in there are the leaves and the sunflowers and all of those things that make it very fall and beautiful. And of course the butternut squash vases and they have a gold foil on them mm, to make them very pretty. Maria. And you can scoop them out and actually eat them as you make this. As well, not you, as you make, but cook them up, of course. Yeah, yeah, but, cook yeah. them up, cook them up. But I love that these things are, the, you know, obviously we have around the house. Yes. This is perfect. Let's start with the vases. Let's start with okay. the butternut squash vases. For the butternut squash vase, what you want to do, you can see yeah. I have my squash here. Okay. And you cut off the top. Use, Easy enough. Yeah, this is a, you can either use a melon baller or a cookie scoop. I tend to have many cookie scoops around my house. Not that this surprises Shocker. anybody, but you scoop it out like that. But I, I do recommend a melon baller if you have one. It okay. does work a little bit better. Okay. You could even use the same types of things that you that you uh, carve pumpkins with. Got it. And, and you went right down in there and got right it Right down out. in there. And yeah, eventually you'll get down to where the seeds are. And that makes it a little bit easier. It's a little very bit of elbow well grease, but that's what we have right there. One of the details I love is the gold leaf along the outside. So once you have that, do you move under the gold leaf? Are oh, ready you for that? do. We're ready for that. So okay. how do we do that? When you have your gold leaf, I have, usually when you're shopping for the gold leaf, I have, they come in a kit. So it's a sealer and an adhesive. You can see right there. Those will usually come with the gold foil when you're shopping for it, either online okay. or in the craft store. They have them at both places. And when you want to, you have, take your uh, brush right here. I'm actually going to do it right here. Okay. And you do your uh, adhesive first. Okay. And you, the, it, the gold is only going to stick to where you do the, uh, ad adhesive. So you can sure. do it kind of however you want. If you want it to be up, you want it to not have little Should you like leave this. little patches where there isn't adhesive so that it yeah, sort of you... shrinks and dries in different kind of patterns? Yes, exactly. I love that so you, it's yeah, not, okay. because It depends on what you're going for. Yep. If you want it completely covered, you could do that. Okay. But what you're really looking for, and I did this one a little bit ago, so it's a little tacky, okay. but you want to make sure that your fingers are clean when you get to the gold foil part of it. Yes. So you can see here, the gold foil this. comes in these very thin sheets it's very like fancy. that, very delicate. Very delicate. And you I'm put glad it on. You're doing this. I would probably make a mess of it. <laughs> and you put it on, and you use a, a dry brush like that to nice. push it on, and uh, let it sit for just a little bit. Okay. So after that, you take this the dry brush and you brush away and you any just excess. brush it away, and then it all comes off, and it looks a little bit almost like you've got antique butternut squash. And Ex exactly. <laughs> and you use the sealer just to kind of seal it on. Just like that. I love, now, and how long would these last once you kind of get these going and you have the gold leaf all finished? I would say about a week. Uh, you want to store them in your fridge so you can kind of transition the flowers in and out depending on if you have a dinner party, things like that. But they can last about a week. And like I said, put them, pop them in the fridge. Okay, great. And so is it time to move on to the beautiful okay. candles here? I love these too, by the way. Okay, so like I said, I did acorn squash, but you could do these with pumpkin as well. Okay. Cut off the bottom so that it's flat. And then you just have your little guy right there. You can yeah. See that uh, so what you want to do is this is the, the uh, wick and you can place it in there. So generally okay. when you're working with candles, you put something on the bottom to keep the wick mm -hmm. up like this, but we're not able to do that with the squash. So I have my wax here. Okay, this is your melted wax yeah, chips Yeah, so it comes flakes. in like yep. the, little, the little flakes. Okay. Uh, so what you can do is just melt it down, depending on which wax you get. Uh, you can do it in the microwave, or you could do like a double boiler. And it doesn't matter that you're not holding the wick in place as you pour, because it hasn't hardened yet. You got a little bit of time before it, it does. Yeah, right? so what we okay. want to do in order to keep the wick in its place, yep. you want to use a couple popsicle sticks. Good. And that will keep it uh, just like... Just as simple as just that. Just like that, and actually you can turn it, because depending on... Yeah, there obviously, we go. which way is lying. Just and you like let that. that go. How long does it take to harden approximately? So this, oh, just a couple, honestly, give it a maybe an hour or two and don't move it around because otherwise your wick will go yeah, like that. Yeah, obviously. But I do want to show you like a word with the, when you're melting wax, this is, yeah. if you don't find the microwavable wax, you could get uh, one of these. These are just like uh, wax melting pitchers, I believe is the exact term. Okay. And you can do it like as a double boiler if you don't find the wax that goes into the microwave. So certain wax is specific. Uh, Check out which wax you have, exactly. Well. Look at this. I love well, it. And then choose your flowers, uh, you know, according to your style and your taste and your color. Yes. 
purple. I like the purple. Maria, <laughs> this is fantastic. She likes the purple ones, everybody, just so you know. Just so you know. I had Thank to just you so put much. It in there. You had to put it in there. Now, this project <laughs> and many more just like it are going to be featured in our Home and Family Fall Recipe and DIY book, which, of course, is available right now at HallmarkChannel.com. You can download it there and enjoy every little bit of it. It is fantastic. And send us pictures. Yeah, and send us pictures. Keep those pictures coming as well. But come on.